Hi, Draft Crocheters. So today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this really cute ball. You can turn this ball to anything you want. You can like just add ears and you can make a bunny. And I'm gonna be showing you guys um, what tools you're gonna need to make this cute ball. And let's get right into it. First on the list, you're gonna need a crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter hook. Next, you're gonna need some scissors. And then you're gonna need a yarning needle. And you're gonna use a stitch marker. And you're gonna need some stuffing. I'm using polyester stuffing. And finally, you're gonna need yarn. I'm using Super Saver yarn. To start off this ball, we're gonna start off with a magic ring of nine. So if you don't know how to do a magic ring, I'm probably gonna do a video on how to do that. So I'm gonna chain one. And then I'm gonna do a single crochet. Uh, in nine in this loop for nine nine times. So you can insert your hook, pull, grab, and pull through too. Well, go insert, pull through, get it, and pull through too. You can repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet you guys there. And you guys should have nine stitches. So once you finish your magic ring, I um, nine stitches around. Uh, as you can see, there's like this tail over here, and what you want to do is just want to pull on it, and that's where the, ma the magic ring just forms. So you pull on it, and it just closes perfectly. That's what they call the magic ring. And after, once you've done that, you want to grab your stitch marker. You could use yarn, but I'm using a normal stitch marker. And I just want to pull up the strand here. I'm going to grab my stitch marker, and I want to just put it on the last stitch that I just finished it with. So, right there. It and I'm gonna secure it so it doesn't fall off. And I'm meet you guys. I'm gonna meet you guys um, in step two. Moving on to step two, we're gonna increase in every stitch, which is nine stitches. So I'm gonna show you guys. It. So the first stitch over here, you wanna insert your hook to that, that first stitch, and you wanna do one single crochet, just like that, and then. Once you've done that single crochet, you want to go inside the exact same stitch that you just put a single crochet in. So you can do. And that's what we call an increase. So I want you guys to repeat that all the way around, and you guys will have 18 stitches. I'm very sorry about the lighting; it's not working out too well. But after once you've increased all around, you're gonna have 18 stitches. Are you guys there? Moving on to step three, we're just gonna do a single crochet in every stitch around and you'll still have 18 stitches. So you're gonna go into the next stitch. Oops. So in that first stitch. And you always wanna remember to put your stitch marker, it's easier or you could count, but I would recommend to use a stitch marker. So you're gonna go in the next stitch. I'm gonna do a single crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you guys back. Moving on to step four, we're gonna start increasing in this row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two single crochet in the next two stitches. So I'm gonna insert my hook there. Put one. And we're gonna do the next stitch and do also one single crochet. And in the third stitch, we're gonna do an increase. So two single crochets in the exact same stitch. So you're gonna insert your hook there. And go back in the exact same stitch. And that's an increase. I'm gonna do this one more time. So I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So it's one, two, and then an increase on the third stitch. So one, and then put another single crochet in the exact same stitch. You're gonna repeat this all the way around and I'm gonna meet you guys back. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna have 22 stitches once you finish this row. Right now your stitch count should be 24. Before I said 22 because I got mixed up with the stitches. But um, moving on to round five, we're gonna be doing th three single crochets in the next three. And then in the, and then on the fourth stitch, you're gonna be doing an increase. So I'm gonna do that with you. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. And now we're, gonna, now we're gonna be doing an increase. As you can see, it's gonna line up with the other increase that you had there. So we're gonna do an increase. Increase here. One and two. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. 
and you should have um, a total of 36. Wait, hold on. I'll, I'll say to you once you finish this round. Once you have finished row five, you should have 33 stitches. Now we're gonna be moving on to the last increasing row. So we're gonna do four single crochet in the fifth stitch, we're gonna do an increase, so. One, two, three, and four. And an increase in the fifth stitch. One, two. You're gonna repeat this all the way around and after you finish row five, no, row six, sorry, you should have 42 stitches. Meet you guys back. So once you finish round six, um, round seven, round seven to 12, it's gonna be just one single crochet in every stitch for six rows. So I'm just gonna do a few stitches with you, but the rest, you guys are going to be doing it alone, so I'm just going to do single, single crochet in every stitch for six rows. I'll meet you guys back once you finish that. So once you've finished um, the 12th row, so you should have something that looks like this. And the next row we're going to be decreasing to make the ball smaller. So you should add a stitch marker there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do four single crochet and then a decrease. In the next two stitches so one two three and four and in these two stitches here you're gonna do a decrease so this is how I do it so usually you can just go in the front loop like this and you can just go to the next one you just go like this but the way that I do it is like this so I go in this stitch I yarn over but I don't pull through the two loops I should have to I cook I go to the next stitch I yarn over and you should have three in your hook you yarn over and pull through three and that's what I call a decrease in my way so it's kind of like invisible decrease so I'm gonna do four single crochet and then decrease and I want you guys to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you guys there once you finish this row, you should have 30 stitches all around. So you just decrease this row and we're gonna decrease again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do three single crochet and then a decrease. So I'm just gonna do that. So one, two, sorry about the noise when I do crochet, three. And then in the next two, you're gonna join those together. So I'm gonna show you guys again. You're gonna go in that stitch, yarn over, you should have two but you're not gonna yarn over and pull through you're gonna go to the next stitch gonna yarn over sorry about the noise it's kind of like creaky so once you have three gonna yarn over and pull through you're gonna repeat that all the way around and i'm i'm gonna meet meet you guys back once you finish that once you finish this row you should have 24 stitches all around we're gonna decrease again so you're gonna do two single crochet and then a decrease. So one, go to the next stitch, two, and then the next two stitches, we're gonna decrease it. We'll go into that stitch, yarn over, two single crochet, uh, two loops on your hook. Do not yarn over, go to the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull through three of those loops. You're gonna repeat that all the way around till you arrive to your stitch marker and we're gonna move on to the next row. Once you've finished um, the, this row, you should have 18 stitches all around. Now we're gonna do um, decreasing again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one single crochet and then we're gonna do a decrease in these two stitches. We're gonna go into that first. Yarn over, two stitches. Next stitch, yarn over. You should have three, and yarn over and pull through all of them. You're gonna repeat that all the way around and I'll meet, and I'll meet you guys back. Once you finish um, this row, you should have 12 stitches all the way around. And now we're gonna be stuffing the, the ball. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys prepare the stuffing so then we can stuff the ball evenly. 
Once you got your stuffing, you want to like kind of like rip it apart because it, it's been staying in that bag for a long time to smooth in everything out. And you're going to grab your ball and you're going to get a tiny bit, not too much. And you're going to put it inside. And what you want to do is you want to get your thumb and you just want to push it in, in the sides so it's evenly spaced in the ball. And you grab a bit more, also evenly take it out a bit. And push them to the sides. I'll meet you guys back once you've stuffed your ball evenly and you like the way it's shaped. Once you've stuffed your ball evenly, this is what mine looks like. We're going to decrease in every single stitch. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to start by decreasing already. So we're going to yarn over. Sorry, not yarn over. Bring through. Next stitch, you shove three and pull through. You're going to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you guys back. Once you finish that row, you should have six stitches all around. And we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to bring through. And you're also going to bring through the next stitch there. And you're going to yarn over. And you're going to go ahead and cut your yarn. You want to kind of make it a tiny bit long because you're going to sew in the ends and everything. So we're going to just cut it there. And you're going to bring through the whole thing. I'll meet you guys back once you finish that. So once you've finished um, tying off, this is where your your needle comes handy because you just you want to like um, close this gap here. So we're just going to pull that yarn in. And then what we want to do is we want to, so you see that, that place where you just slip stitched? You want to get your yarning needle and you want to go in it just like the inside and then it's going to go out. So And then you want to go to the next stitch and go over here. Yarn it all. Next stitch. And then the next stitch. Oh. Sometimes it gets a bit messy when you do this. So there, next stitch. And then finally, the last stitch, right here. Then, we're just gonna pull on the strand that we weaved uh, through the stitches and just want to pull on it it'll just close like just like that and then we just want to hide this end so I'm just gonna go through some stitches just like that go through some of these stitches and then what you want to do is you want to go inside there inside like inside your ball and you just want to bring through and you want to cut your yarn, so I'm just going to pull it a bit and then cut it. And then there you have your ball. Thank you so much for watching. You guys can watch me on TikTok and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys play with your ball a lot and yeah.